Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video. Uh, we were discussing about the continuous random variable and we have seen 2-3 examples on the same topic. In this learning video, we will be taking an example on the same topic but the example is of different that we haven't taken earlier. Okay. So see what this example says. The example says a random variable x has a density function. So whenever it is like a random variable x, random variable x density function means this giving me an indication that this is a problem of continuous random variable. Okay. So for the continuous random variable x, we have the density function. We have to find out C and distribution function capital F of x. Okay. So how we can start with? Yes, because or as x is continuous, continuous random variable, continuous random variable, then we must apply by the definition for the continuous random variable x, the density function integration from minus infinity to infinity dx is equal to 1, right? Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to just uh, break this interval according to the problem, okay? So, we have the functional value. The value of f of x is from 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, and then otherwise, okay? So, just looking at this, we can break this interval. So, I am writing here, that is integration from minus infinity to 1 f of x dx plus integration from 1 to 2 f of x dx plus integration from 2 to 3 f of x dx plus integration from otherwise means 3 onwards. 1 minus infinity to 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, infinity f of x dx is equal to 1. Okay. Now, now if you look at this, uh, what value we have from minus infinity to 1? So, this is the value like here it is like uh, minus infinity, here somewhere it is say 1 then here it is 2 and then here it is 3 okay and here it is infinity so here we have uh, minus infinity to 1 we don't have any value now from this to this from this to this we have the value cx square and from this to this and from this 2 to 2 onwards to 3 we have the value cx okay and for only these two interval we have the value so for this we have zero so no need to write it down plus integration one to two what is the value of function in one to two it's cx square dx plus what is the value from two to three that is integration from two to three cx dx plus again zero is equal to one because from 3 to infinity, we don't have function value. So, its value is 0 and integration of 0 is 0. Now, just integrate this. See outside, integration of x is x cubed by 3, 1, 2, 2 plus. See outside, integration of x is x square by 2, x square by 2, 2, 2, 3 is equal to 1. Simple, okay? Now just apply the limits, so it is like c by 3, 2 cube is 8, minus 1, plus c by 2, x square, 3 square is 9, minus 2 square is 4, is equal to 1. So when you solve this, this comes out to be 6 by 29. So value of c comes out to be 6 by 29. Now, this completes my first part, right? Now, I have to find out the distribution function, okay? So, let us find out the distribution 
function. Do you remember the definition of distribution function? Yes, do you remember the definition of distribution function? <coughs> Anyone? You can write number two distribution function. Distribution function f of x, capital F of x is integration from infinity to x f of v d. That is what we have the definition. Okay. That is minus infinity. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we have to find out the distribution function. Okay. So let us uh, say this is to be equation number A. And we have to start with, we have to start with this. For the interval, for the interval x less than 1. Do you have any functional values? No. So f of x is 0. So f of x is 0, so equation A will give you, equation A will imply integration minus infinity to root x 0 dv is 0. So capital F of x is 0. One remark I would like to make that here you will always be getting the very first value of the function to be 0. Okay, now let's move on to the next interval 1 to 2. Okay, so I can write here for 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 we have the functional value what we have we have the functional value cx square okay so you can write f of x is equal to cx square okay so use the definition of this uh, distribution function capital f of x break the interval and then integrate to get the solution okay now uh, okay equation a implies integration now i will be breaking this interval from minus infinity to x as minus infinity minus infinity to 1 f of x dx plus plus 1 onwards plus 1 to x, right? 1 to x, f of x, dx. Okay, so this is my capital F of x. I forget to write f of x is equal to this. Okay, now we don't have any value from minus infinity to 0, so that would be 0. Okay, so this is like integration minus infinity to 1, 0 dx, which gives you 0. From 1 to x, integration from 1 to x, what is capital F of x? 1 to x means 1 onwards. So, up, but we are taking the range 2. Okay, so it is c x square dx. So, this capital F of x comes out to be c outside. Integration of x square is x cube by 3, 1 to x. Okay, and we have the value of c. Just we have found out 6 by 29, okay, into this is x cube by 3 minus 1 by 3. So, we get cancelled with this and we remain with 2 by 29 x cube minus 1. So, this is the value I am getting for uh, capital F of x that is uh, distribution function in the interval 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 2. Now, what interval I will be taking next is 2 less 2 greater than x but less than 3. Okay. So, for, for 2 greater than x but less than equal to 3, I am having the functional value f of x to be cx. Okay. So, use make use of equation A then. Equation Equation A implies capital F of x is equal to integration from minus infinity to 1, then, then integration from 1 to 2, f of x dx, 
plus integration from 2 to 3 f of x dx plus integration from 3 to infinity f of x dx okay so for this and for this we don't have any value so this is 0 this is also 0 so let us solve for the other one okay uh, sorry uh, not like this sorry this is from 2 to x right. okay 2 to x because uh, we should get a function here not the value for the distribution function okay so this 2 to x like here 1 to x okay so <coughs> capital F of X is equal to what is this integration of this is 0 plus what is integration 1 to 2 X DX that is uh, C X square so integration 1 to 2 C X square DX plus integration from 2 to X in the range 2 to 3 we have the value integration 2 to x that is cx dx okay now okay so this is like uh, c c common that is uh, 6 by 29 integration of x square is x cube by 3 1 2 2 plus integration c outside that is value of c is 6 by 29 x square by 2 2 2 x Applying this, 1 za, 2 za, 2 by 29, x cube minus, okay, you can have value over here. So, it is like 2 cube is 8 minus 1, that is 7, plus 6 by 29, okay, into here you will be getting x square by 2 minus 2 square by 2, that is 2. Okay, so this is my f of x, uh, 14 by 29 plus 6 by 29 x square minus 4 by 2, okay, so when you solve this, when you solve this further, you will be getting 14 by 29 plus x square minus 4 by 2. 2 so 3 by 29 x square minus 4 so when you solve it further so we'll be getting 3x square 3x square minus 12 plus 14 is uh, plus 2 by 29 at last at last we are going to find at last we are going to find for free greater than sorry for x greater than equal to not greater than equal to for x greater than 3 so for x greater than 3 we have uh, f of x okay equation a implies first you just uh, uh, what we can say just break the interval from minus infinity to 1 f of x dx plus integration from 1 to 2 f of x dx plus integration from 2 to 3 f of x dx plus integration from 3 to x All right plus integration from 3 to x f of x dx okay so solve this equation a implies f of x is equal so what is my f of x now f of x is equal to for this we have zero value so this get cancelled so no need to write it so f of x is equal to 1 to 2 what is f of x in 1 to 2 cx square so it is 6 by 29 x square dx plus for this we have uh, cx so this is 2 to 3 6 by 29 x dx okay and then you have to solve this 
So when you solve this, you'll be getting 6 by 29 into x cubed by 3. So that is 8 minus 1. And for this, 6 by 29. And this is x squared by 2. So uh -huh, uh -huh, x cubed by 3. So it is like this. And 6 by 29, x squared by 2. So 3 squared is 9 minus 4 by, uh, by x squared by 2. This. So solve this 6 by 29 common. Okay. Can write 3 1s are 2s are 8 2s are 16. 16 minus 1, 15 plus 1s are 3s are. So this is again 29 common. 9 3s are 18 minus 4, 14. So this is 29 by 29 1. If you are getting the value of this last value of uh, this f of x to be 1, means whatever calculations you have done is correct. Okay. So once you are getting all these values, we are just going to write down the function, distribution function. Therefore, capital F of x is equal to. So what values we have? Yes. For minus infinity less than x less than 1 we have the value to be 0 is it that is what we have found out for 1 greater than equal to x less than 2 what we have I, I forget about what we, what values we uh, got for this for 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 by 29 2 by 29 x cube minus 1 okay and uh, for the next uh, interval that is for 2 less 2 less than equal to x sorry 2 greater than equal to x less than 3 we have this uh, 3 x square plus 2 upon 29 and at last for 3 less than equal to greater than equal to x less than infinity we have 1 so this is the distribution function so i hope uh, this is uh, clear to you so such type of problem you will be having in this uh, topic. So thank you for watching this learning video. Enjoy learning mathematics and have a good day. Thank you.